happy Ombre Wednesday everybody. Um, this week I've got a bit more to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a, a real easy wine for the beginners. And it's something really nice, it's really quick. Uh, we're going to make it today and we'll be drinking it by the summer. So, but first of all, um, I'm supposed to be sending some beers out. Don't worry guys, um, I am doing it. I just haven't had time. Uh, they're going to be going out either tail end of this week or early next week because um, I've got to send out my uh, SJ Paul beer as well so I thought I'd do them all in one go so that's that, so don't worry about that um, also uh, an update on the, uh, the brew house it's really not got much further, I've been really busy the last couple of weeks uh, as, you, as you all know, just had a new baby boy and. Uh, with other commitments as well. Uh, I've just had no time to do anything whatsoever. So kegs are still sat there, waiting to be drilled out, cleaned up, and sort of all the fixtures and fittings added to it. Um, I haven't even got as far as ordering the stuff for it yet. So, uh, but that will come. But until that's done, I'm not going to be doing any more uh, beer. Uh, I've got plenty of beer around me to keep me going. So. I'm hoping to get that done in the next three or four weeks, and then once that's done, we'll be doing a uh, we'll be doing um, a new brew. Um, it's not going to be a new one for me. Uh, and basically, what I'm going to do is uh, once everything's all set up, the kettle, the HLT, and the mash tun is there. Um, I'm going to do my very first all green or the one I brew my very first all green brew which is uh, an EPA, an English Pale Ale, which I call um, the Pilot, being my Pilot beer. Uh, but it's a nice beer, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I, I, I think, personally, you know, it's going to be my first real beer in the brew, brew house, so I'm thinking it should be the first beer that I ever brewed, all green wise that is. Okay, next um, I've got I got some features coming up. I know I said uh, I was going to do one last week, but like I said, I had no time and I was really tired. So I'm hoping to get my first homebrew review up this Saturday, as well as um, uh, my video series on how I do that. It's a how-to video, but it's not how you should do it, it's just how I do it. Um, maybe you could take something from that, or maybe you just not watch it at all, it's up to you. Um, and I'm basically going to be doing things like um, the first couple that I've got planned, it's all ready to go, just got to film it, is uh, the, uh, the shots, um, the snaps, and also I'm going to be doing a video on mead. Um, and the different types and variants of that. Um, so those are my first two. I'm hoping to do one of those maybe, I don't know, once a fortnight, once a month, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, probably once a month, I'd have thought, as a special feature on my channel. Because um, I've got the, uh, the Homebrew Wednesday every week, and I'm going to have the um, Homebrew Review um, on the Saturdays. Um, incidentally, yeah, I had my um, <coughs> I had my first beer mail from Sean at the Bruin Shed. Check out the link in the, the more info section. Uh, the Hamilton Bard is uh, a lager. The uh, Goblin's Revenge, which is a Hobgoblin clone. Strawberry cider and an apple cider. So I mean, there's there's four weeks of reviews right there. You know, and plus I've got my own um, the SJ Paul, the uh, sugar and spice. I've got the um, the Welsh Doom, which I don't have a bottle. 
to him. Uh, the uh, Dark Hobbit, which is the uh, Black Sheep clone, which I'm going to be reviewing very first. It's going to be my very first um, homebrew review, being it was my very first homebrew made on YouTube. So we're going to use that as my first. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that. So that's the, uh, the homebrew review sorted out. Well, there will be, and up soon. First one this Saturday, I hope. Um, and that's basically it. Um, then, on in the in the pipeline, I'm designing some signature brews for the brewery or my brewery. Um, yeah, you know, just sort of uh, I want to do like a summer beer, which I've done the uh, I did the cerveza thing with lime and tequila, which was really nice. Um, that's going to end up on the uh, on the homebrew review as well, one of the summer ones. But I want to make that, but I'm going to make an all grain version of it. So I'm going to make uh, a lager, an all grain lager, and do the same process. Um, I want to do um, pumpkin ale uh, for the uh, Halloween beer. Um, what else? I want to come up with uh, a Christmas beer. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe no, I don't. I don't even know. I've no idea yet. Um, plus a couple of other signature brews. I want to do a red ale to signify the, the Welsh Dragon. Um, but I'm going to try and source uh, some Welsh ingredients if there are such a thing. I'm sure there are. Um, and we'll see what happens with that. So, and that's it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you here. What I'm going to leave you with now is uh, the rice and raisin wine. Now, it's a really good wine for beginners, like I said. If I just, uh, there you go. And it's basically you do it in one gallon batches, you, uh, it's Basically, you do it in one gallon batches and it's ready to drink in around eight weeks' time. So, it's a really quick one and a really, uh, it's a really nice one, good at parties and stuff. So, uh, it's basically, um, I will put the, uh, the recipe in the more info section. It's uh, raisins, rice, a sugar, a juice of lemon and orange, uh, yeast, English top. Oh, good. Just top up to a gallon. Um, basically, you ferment it out, and then you filter it, and then you drink it. It's uh, quite that simple. Um, it only keeps for a couple of months, so it's a case of you make it, and you have a plan for it. So it's basically you make, you drink. Um, it, it, you can keep it longer than that if you had a. A Camden tablet to it, it'll keep up to I know around nine months a year. But um, it's it's a really good one, really nice wine, and it's really simple. So we're going to leave you with that. Cheers, guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday.